And we're back, and I will start painting a little bit, and I'll show you the video here. Uh, I got some, I, I like to use these lids. These, I just dropped it. These lids on, oh, I get from snack uh, tubes and all that stuff. And I mixed a little uh, granite gray, some uh, palm green, and some sandy desert sand into it. What we're going to do is uh, add some color to our columns that we've made. Now, I've already taken some, and, and there are various stages of painting, but these are the two square columns that we made here. They're painted up everything. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give them a light granite gray just like that. Light brushing a granite gray up on the top here. Now you could just get by with the this color here, the gray on the black. It's it's functional. And I'm probably gonna get this gray paint all over me. And, and it gets by. You'll get by with it. It looks good still. And, and it's just gray on black. Easy to do. As you can see. And uh, I like to add a little more color than that to mine. Which I'm going to show you how to do that. So they're not so boring. And they look a little more aged. And see, that's a, that's a stone column right there. Simple stone column. We'll do the same thing here with this one. Yes, planes, we hear you out there. That's why I like to film. <laughs> Most of the time I look like I'm half asleep on this because I like to film early in the morning. I get up, plan my filming, and get up early in the morning. So the, so the noise of the jets and everything is not so bad. The planes. We have a training base here in my hometown of Enid, Oklahoma. And it's been there since the 40s. So it's just a. And so it's, they're constantly flying all the time. The most, I don't really notice it because I've lived here for 63 years. But I don't really notice it until I'm filming. Then I was like, oh God, there's planes out there. All right. We made these two stone columns, and we can add a black wash to here in a little bit. But I want to show you how you can add more color to that than by using the green and the brown. And see so these columns here, these pieces here, I've already painted gray. What we're going to do, we're going to take a little bit of the palm leaf green, and we're just going to add very light touch to it to give it a little bit more of an aged look like I said you can get by with the gray on black and you can it, it will do you fine I use it myself but uh, I'm experimenting with different painting techniques I'm not the best painter in the world so I'm trying to improve my craft now see I had a little bit of green to it don't worry we're going to give this a wash and it's going to subdue the green A little on top. Hopefully you can see this. And same way here. Just just a little touch. You don't have to get crazy with it. If I see glue hairs on it, I leave it on there because it looks like vines. I'm trying to go for the old ruins look here. I play a lot of Diablo 3 and uh, some Skyrim and I mostly play it for inspiration okay we've got those green on those and I, I love I love it they give me inspiration and so I like the you know the look of the old stone and stuff in those especially like in Skyrim now I've got the desert sand 
and I'm just going to just barely blot it on there. I don't care if it blends in with the, the green or not. We're going to, like I said, we're going to give this a wash and it's going to, hopefully you can see this, it's going to mute the color. All right. Okay, we got those base colored out. We have ours that are uh, gray and black. Now, I'm going to show you. We've got I've got these two already done with uh, the green and the brown. We're going to give them a nice uh, wash, a black wash. to mute the colors down a little bit and see how it churns out. And you apply the wash onto it. Take your napkin. Kind of blot it out a bit. Same on the sides. It kind of mutes the color down. And it gets the, the wash gets in the crack. I love washes. Makes my painting a lot easier, especially if you're not as skilled as I am at painting. There's a, well, yeah, I think I like where this is going. Uh, you know, I'm still learning painting techniques, so this is. I'm showing you as I'm, I'm experimenting myself. But I think I like where this is going. It's still a little wet, but you can see the broken stone, the green, and the uh, uh, various colors on it. And it'll dry, it, it'll mute out even more. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Give it a black wash. Oh yeah, I like where this is going. And uh, we, I got some really fun builds planned. Uh, all, all part of the Dollar Dungeon series. I've been experimenting. I just haven't been making videos. I've been experimenting, though. Uh, so, I'm really looking forward to showing you all the stuff I've come up with. Get the top. All right. I don't know if you can focus enough on here, but we are going to show what these look like on the game table. So, uh, got paint all over me, but yeah, I think they came out all right. We'll show you what it looks like on the game table next here at the Dragon's Den. When we get done painting, I get friend of painting all the rest of these columns. We'll see what it looks like on the game table. I will see you on the flip side.